fingernail or screwdriver flathead and get underneath here and pick this up. Then you lift it up and it hinges in place. Then you're going to come underneath and your screen will have nothing on it or it'll be flashing. The first thing you want to do is take a pen or something with a sharp point and get underneath here in the center on that little circle and push it in until this resets and you should have four dashes across here. Then you'll press the hour key a couple of times until you get into the time setting mode. Then you press and hold the hour key till you get to the current time, current hour of the of, at the time you're setting it. Press and hold the minute key until you get to the current minute. Then press any four of the corner buttons to exit the time setting mode. Then you're going to press the code button. And as you can see on the screen, the first thing that comes up is latitude. So you'll press and hold the minute key till you get to 37 because it should be flashing zero. Then you'll press the code key again and you should have three flashing zeros. To get to negative 87, you're going to press and hold the minute key till it gets all the way up to 87. Then you're going to press and hold, press repetitively the hour key and you'll see it starts at zero, then it goes to one, then it goes to negative zero. And that's what you want for negative 87 longitude. Then you're going to press the code key again. And you're going to put in the Julian date, which on July 4th is 185. And you're going to press the code key again. And you'll want to put add. Now one note on this. When you press it, this will default to NOR. So if you set the time first, know that you're going to have to go back into your clock and set it. If you want to be ahead of the game, go ahead in the summer, when we're sprung ahead, set it an hour behind, right? Does that make sense? Yes. And then in the uh, winter time, or when we're at normal time, then you don't have to worry about it. You can just set it for the current time of day because you're going to select NOR. And how to select the proper time, NOR or ADD, is to press the minute key. So there is NOR and there is ADD. Then you're going to press the code key again, LC0. That is something that always should read LC0 for you. That's just for dialing in the dusk and dawn a little bit, but we're in pretty good shape here. Then to exit, as you see, if I press the code key again, I go back again to... Uh, latitude so it cycles back around to exit that you press any four of these corner buttons then lastly we'll want to do program which is PGM you press that once and if you've set it correctly it should be dusk which in this case is 804 tonight you'll press it again and you'll be looking at four zeros so you will press the hour key a couple once or twice till you get to 1 a.m. then you'll press the program key again and this is just to check to make sure everything's good. The next screen is the second on time, which should be looking at the three dashes. And then they'll press it again, and that should be the current dawn. Press it again, and it cycles back to dusk. So press your... Now here you can either press. You know you're finished, so you can either press this, or you can just sh shut it, and it automatically goes to auto off. If you press one of the corner buttons, know that when you shut this, it could go to auto on and you'll have to press it again to make sure it's an auto off. All right.